two. Good morning, Joe. We are so glad that to hear that you're doing so well and might get to come home in the next week or 10 days. We pray for you all the time and, and we're just so happy you're doing well and can't wait to see you again. Bye. Hey, Bo, this is Jenny, of course, you can see me. I know that might be scary, I don't know, although um, Frank was just talking, no, not Frank, Francis was just talking about seeing Mary Glenn and she said she didn't hear a word they said, but it was so good just to see them. So maybe you feel the same way if I'm rambling here. I drive down College Street all the time and look at your house and think how beautiful it is. And I'm anxious to see you back and know that you're back in that house. Um, and I look forward to coming and seeing your bedroom suite. Take care, bye. Every time I feel the spirit Moving in my heart, I will pray. Yes, every time I feel the Spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. That's for Pentecost Sunday, Joe. We miss you. We're looking forward to having you back. Yes. Joe, I, just to add to what the other said, it is great to hear from you so much. It's, in, it's a joy texting you. It's really good to hear that you're feeling better. I know it's gradually, it was a wonderful picture to see you out in the sun and the wind and the, and the light the other day. Uh, we're really looking forward to you getting home. I know you said maybe this Thursday, maybe not. We want it to be in your good time, but we also want it to, uh, we want to have you here. So it's good to talk to you and we're in, you're in our prayers.